Hello, I'm Leah Gibson of the Mississippi State University Office of Public Affairs. Welcome to a time of reflection on our university's successes over the last year with MSU President Mark Keenum. Welcome, Dr. Keenum. Well, thank you, Leah. You know, uh, as the holiday season approaches and as we observe, hard to believe, my 11th year as president of Mississippi State, I felt like this would be a great time for us to have another review of our excellent year for all of our university students, our faculty, and our outstanding staff here at Mississippi State. And we hope to end 2019 on a great high note with a victory in the Music City Bowl this year in Nashville as our football team plays the Louisville Cardinals. Uh, Coach Joe Moorhead is leading our team now to his second consecutive bowl game, but our team's tenth consecutive bowl game. And my goodness, we ended our regular season on a very high note with a very exciting uh, Egg Bowl victory this year. Uh, and then baseball. Uh, I want to talk a minute about that as well. You know, um, we moved into our new Duty Noble baseball stadium this year. Uh, many call it the Carnegie Hall of college baseball. And, and our baseball team met their goal this year by returning to another College World Series uh, for the second consecutive year. For all of our athletic programs, we had a school record 13 teams this year reach the NCAA postseason. Uh, we had the best college tennis player in the nation this year in Nuno Borges who just graduated in December of this year from Mississippi State. I'm very proud of that young man. Uh, our MSU track team uh, has three of the best javelin throwers in the entire nation, which that team is led by uh, Anderson Peters uh, and also our softball teams. Uh, Maya Davidson set the SEC single season record this year for home runs. So my goodness, we had quite a season and some outstanding play by some truly outstanding student athletes here at Mississippi State this year. Sounds like it. Dr. Keenum, this past year has been a continuation of phenomenal growth on our campus in terms of new facilities. Can you tell us about that? Well, Leah, you know, we are growing and we're continuing to grow. And I'll, I'll, I say all the time that I think a university that's growing is a sign of a healthy campus. And we sure are healthy at Mississippi State if you just look at the growth on our campus and our infrastructure. And infrastructure improvements that we currently have underway right now, for example, we have the, the beautiful new RULA Engineering and Science Complex. We have a new partnership school, which I'm very proud of. It's under construction right now. Uh, we're finishing a construction on a new poultry science building. And we're building a new 500 space uh, parking garage on our campus uh, at this present moment. And then some of the more recently completed projects uh, include a new housing development. It's a public-private partnership. Uh, our uh, College View housing project, which I'm extremely proud of that new facility. We've got a new animal and dairy sciences building that's been completed and we've opened and dedicated that facility. Uh, and we've got a new surface parking lot, which again, more and more parking. As we're growing, we need parking. Our Kreitz uh, new surface parking lot. And then we acquired the Cadence Bank building downtown. That acquisition has had a big impact on downtown Starville and helping us grow our research park and expand it uh, into the downtown part of the city. And then working with the city and the county, we're working on a new road called uh, a new pathway, if you will, multi-purpose pathway, our Loxley Way multi-purpose path, which we recently dedicated. It's going to help the thoroughfare, the, th the back and forth, if you will, between our campus and the city. And then, speaking of roads, we're soon to begin work, I hope, this coming year on a new road we call the Bulldog Way uh, Corridor Loop. It will connect Blackjack Road all the way over to East Lee Boulevard, opening up that whole northeast quadrant, if you will, for our university campus. We've been working with our county and the state to get funding to do a major improvement of the Blackjack Road, which will improve and enhance our Stone Boulevard. We're going to add new parking along Stone Boulevard, and we're planning to build a new access road from Stone Boulevard all the way over to Hardy Street. Again, opening up that whole quadrant for that part of our campus. 
and then improvements uh, for our student support and autism building is another big priority for us. We're soliciting funds to build a new kinesiology building here on campus. Uh, hopefully get that funding in this coming year. And then we hope to break ground uh, in this coming year for a new music building here at Mississippi State. Uh, and then I would say going all the way back to 2009, that we have, to this point, we have spent more than a billion dollars in capital improvements here on our campus. Okay. We're also growing our human capital as well. Tell us about that, Dr. Keenan. Well, Leah, we are growing. Uh, that's exactly right. You know, this, this fall, for example, we set another record in enrollment here at Mississippi State. Mm -hmm. uh, 22,226 students enrolled here this fall. Wow. Uh, we're the largest four-year accredited university in the state of Mississippi, and I'm proud of that fact. Uh, you know, this is the, the fifth consecutive year that our, our university has had enrollment growth. You know, we also saw growth in our Meridian campus, which I'm very proud of that fact. And our uh, online program was another record for us this year. You know, that, that student growth um, brought about a, a new record for us in the number of faculty members that we've hired this year. We, we hired 108 new faculty members here this year. And I think a lot of the reason for the growth that we're seeing is because um, in Mississippi, we continue to be the number one choice for high school graduates who choose to go to a four-year university in Mississippi, we're the number one choice. And that's why over 64% of our enrollment here are Mississippians. Okay. Uh, this wonderful group of freshmen that are on our campus set a record for us as a university with the average ACT score for entering freshman class. It was a 26.1. We've seen that quality growth for several years, not only quantity, but quality growth, which again is a very positive attribute for our university. And we had another record fundraising year. We raised more than $113 million. Uh, again, another record for the university. And then in the research arena, um, our faculty, our scientists, our world-class faculty set a record for us as far as the, num as the amount of research dollars that they generated this year. Uh, more than $244 million, uh, which sh shows that we're making a difference, not only for our state, but for the nation and the world. Our university generates more than 50% of all the research generated by all the other, when I mean, you look at all the other universities and institutions, we're producing more than half of it at Mississippi State. So when we say we're a leading research university in this state, we are definitely the leading research university in Mississippi. And then the National Science Foundation has us ranked. We're the only university ranked among the top 100 uh, research universities in the nation. And uh, we're ranked among the top 15 universities when it comes to agriculture research and social sciences. Uh, we're nationally ranked in engineering computer sciences, uh, geosciences, and life sciences. So our faculty, our world-class scientists are making a difference every day on this campus at Mississippi State. The university has launched an innovative new program designed to increase educational attainment for Mississippians with technical skills. Tell us more about that. Well, you know, I'm excited about our new Bachelor of Applied Science program. Uh, Mississippi State is the first public university in the state to offer students this wonderful educational option. Uh, the BAS degree is intended to serve the needs of adults who may have completed their technical associates degree program through one of our community colleges or through the military, and they need additional education to advance their careers. Uh, credits in the Bachelor of Applied Science degree program can be earned through online or in-person courses pro providing the, the, which provides the flexibility that has become a hallmark of MSU's nationally ranked online offerings in pursuit of a four-year degree from MSU. At this special time of year, it's become customary for the university community to receive a special holiday message from you. Thank you for this informative update. What's your message to the Bulldog family? Well, 
Uh, thank you, Leah, you know, for, for helping me share some, I think, outstanding news about Mississippi State with our Bulldog family. You know, all of these developments, all of these successes are indicators of, I think, a university that, that's on the move. You know, and our progress is a tribute to the entire Mississippi State family. And, you know, as I count my blessings at this special time of year, you know, I would say near the top of the list is the opportunity to work with so many of our great universities, 147,000 plus alumni who make me proud every day. Uh, as president of, of this university, I strive every single day to, if you will, ring true. And, and I challenge you to join me in that quest as our university grows and, and, and honors our mission of empowering Mississippi's next generation of leaders. So on behalf of my wife Rhonda and our children Katie, Mary Phillips, Rhett, and Tori, I want to wish you and yours a, a safe and joyous holiday season, a Merry Christmas, and a happy and productive New Year. Thank you for allowing me to serve you and our outstanding university. Hail State and God bless.